what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so this will be a recap for chucky season 3 episode 7 episode 7 started with the ghost of charles lee ray wandering the white house it was very beetlejuice like charles encounters the ghost of a dead president and some others before making his way to speak to dembala in chucky's body or in chucky form i should say dembala asks charles to sit down and introduces charles to the spirit realm dembala trashes charles's latest efforts to please him with these kills that he's been doing calling the kills coasting almost as if charles isn't even trying dembala reminds him that it's about passion not number of kills dembala is prepared or ready to send charles to hell but gives charles one more chance to prove himself and have the catholic cooties removed the vice president gives a breaking news broadcast about the white house's recent hiccups including the north pole issue well the broadcast is being recorded to air later price has plans to announce the vice president as the new president soon experts are supposed to be arriving today to make sure the house is clean according to price and he goes to check on charlotte randall is comforting charlotte in another room about her frustrations with price price comes in preparing them to tape an announcement related to lying about brain cancer diagnosis charlotte denies this proposal but price insists it's necessary to convince the american people the trio are locked in a room with grant lexi is upset and still desperate to see caroline she comforts Grant, who appears to be sad over his dad's death because there's so much they didn't get to say. Grant goes to see Henry and Charlotte in another room. Henry sees the ghost of Charles before screaming. Tiffany is living the dream in prison. She's undergoing a mani petty, it would appear, from the guards before her execution tonight. Tiffany has the guards spy, her, spy on her executioner. One gets ran over by a car for her efforts. I believe this was Erica. Timmy Nash arrives at the White House. He's the spirit expert or the expert with psychic abilities. Our, um, what is her name from Poltergeist? Our Tangina, if you will. Charlotte and her kids are leaving the White House, but Grant won't leave without Lexi, so they just drive off without Grant. The trio is introduced to Timmy, who is going on about the spirit realm, Chucky still being alive, etc. Lexi is desperate to reach out to Chucky and ask questions. Randall is recorded giving a speech pretending to have cancer while passing the torch to his VP. Randall runs away after realizing that everyone in that room, including Price, are now trying to kill him. Randall ends up brawling with a service member inside of the elevator until blood begins to pour in, killing him and that service member. Later that night, Price gathers everyone at the White House in a room for a seance. Everyone is told the rules and warned about the or warned about breaking the circle to avoid consequences. Charles is summoned and his ghost taunts everyone in the room. Blood pours down on all of them while Charles laughs. Several people are electrocuted to death, including the former vice president. Jake notices the ghost of Charles who shoots a bird at him. They go on about talking about how they still need to contact Charles, how it's not too late. Timmy tells the trio that the only way for them to get to Chucky at this point is to go to the spirit realm and one of them would have to die to do this. Jake volunteers himself and he's very enthused about this for some reason. I've never seen someone so enthused to die. But he volunteers himself since he has the strongest connection with Charles. Tiffany is taken to be executed. She's strapped down and screaming. Someone asks if there are any last words or some last words for Tiffany. Nika says she has some. She rolls in and tells Tiffany that Gigi, Gigi says she's a wonderful mother before telling Tiffany her own words that she knows Tiff will burn in hell because she knows the type of person Tiffany really is. Tiffany says goodbye to her loved ones, including Gigi and Chucky. Her and Jake are injected and presumably killed. Now, prior to this shot, Devin and Jake have a very emotional moment everything is very heightened with this music they're playing they're really trying to get you in the in your feels during this episode with how it ends because you don't know for certain who out of these two has now died but keep in mind they did state that in order for jake to go to the spirit realm he has to die so who do you think died out of the two that's not to say that tiffany herself isn't also going to die but for those of you concerned about jake i can only tell you this there is something i would find far worse that is going to happen to him next episode that eliminates anything to do with this death now the death thing i believe is just another horrible writing decision one because it's another one of those writing decisions where you're doing things for the sake of shock value to get people in their emotions and then you're just going to undo it anyway so there's several ways you can get people in their emotions without doing these sort of fake outs if you will because now the question is, will Jake be able to return from the spirit realm? Because there's two drugs that were brought into the room. One that kills him, one that would bring him back. 
They already injected him the one that, that will kill him, but now it's going to just be, can they bring Jake back? Episode 8 is going to be very interesting. The finale is going to, again, flip four characters' lives upside down. Those four characters are the trio and Tiffany. Caroline will be back. You're going to meet the creator. There's a very interesting twist with the creator. Uh, you're going to learn some very interesting things about the creator and his ties to Chucky and Tiffany. And yeah, the episode is going to have a very perplexing cliffhanger as well. The season finale. I cannot wait to see your reaction to what they do with these characters next week because there is a couple of posts I've seen on the Chucky subreddit saying, oh, they can't be doing that. I'm not going to say which one it is. One of those posts is correct. The doubting that you have is going to be proven useless because they are doing that to these characters they're doing it next week let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me in the description i'll have links to all my social media cover. accounts i am on facebook twitter and, and instagram you i will can see you in the next video there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next week